paper-wise, it's looking fairly quiet here at the All England Tennis here in Wimbledon. A few contractors, though, are preparing for the frantic summer ahead. This is when the venue will stage tennis's most prestigious Grand Slam, Wimbledon, followed in just three weeks by taking part in the country's biggest sporting event in decades, the 2012 London Olympics, when the world and its press will descend on London, expecting the latest technology to keep them up to date with the games. Sports journalist Steve Buttrick has worked for Radio 5 Live and headed up radio at Wimbledon Tennis Championships for several years. Can you tell us what difference the ability to get sports news on your mobile is making for sports fans and sports journalists? It's nothing short of a revolution. We thought the revolution had come with digital technology and computers and laptops. In fact, social media and handheld devices like the iPhone and like all the Samsung and the Nokias which are coming along have made another revolution. And it means now, as a journalist, I have to get my sports news out onto Twitter, onto Facebook, before I start writing my story. As a fan, I can now get my sports news direct from the players in tennis, in golf, in football. They can give me the news more quickly than the journalists, so the journalists have to be even more quick at getting their information onto the social media sites as quickly as possible. What kind of impact do you think mobile journalism will have on the Olympics? The big players, the BBCs, the, the big international sports organisations will be getting even more pictures back more quickly. If you think back to previous Olympics, it was difficult to get the archery or some of the rowing events or some of the equestrian events onto TV quickly. This time they will all be available all the time. There'll be other journalists who are not quite uh, with a big organisation like that who will be sending back reports uh, via social media, via the internet. There'll be others. I have a friend who's a Chinese journalist who will be doing reports solely on Weibo, which is the Chinese Twitter. So there is uh, journalism at various levels going on. Wimbledon and Euro 2012 are said to be used as trials for social media ahead of the Games. Can you tell us a bit about what it's like working in the press room at Wimbledon? Tennis tournaments are interesting because it's not just one match, like a test match or a golf match. At any one time in at Wimbledon, particularly in the first week, there are 18 or 19 matches going on around the grounds. So it's a huge logistical problem. Gone are the days when a journalist used to wander out, cover a match on court 13, come and write about it. Now in the newsrooms, everyone watches four or five televisions. Everyone listens to the radio. Everyone checks the internet. In other words, it's a total experience. And again, journalists used to just come and write one story a day, do one match a day. Now I know there are journalists who come and they write on the internet. They do Twitter all day, keeping up to date with the thing. So now it's a 24-hour operation. You cannot rest. The day doesn't end. You go to Wimbledon at 2 o'clock in the morning, there'll be journalists filing to the other side of the world. Uh, you get here at 7 o'clock in the morning, there'll be people starting to write for different time zones. How is mobile journalism fitting into the mix of media? At the moment, it's a huge pot and everything is in there. You look at your newspaper and they will try and attract you to Twitter. Uh, you look at your website, they will try and attract you to their pictures. The All England Club, for example, is uh, relaunching its website. Everything will be put into its digital media strategy over the next few years because they get over 20 million hits on their website. However, at the moment, um, to me, it is the social media which is leading the race.